Hi Aries, these are going to be your guidance cards for December 6th through December 12th. We are almost to the end of the year. And we are almost to that new moon in Sagittarius. So right now everybody should be feeling um, pretty calm, kind of ready, prepared for all the new blessings and new energies coming in with this new moon and this new eclipse coming in. I am shuffling this week. Um, didn't shuffle last week. So um, we're kind of taking a vote. So just comment in the comment box and let me know. Um, shuffle, don't shuffle. We'll kind of tally them up and see how it goes and try to set like a routine. All right. So bottom of the deck energy, you got the king of fire. And guidance card, Aries. Wow. The eight of fire. Some pretty big fire energy there, Aries. I want to mention too, um, if you haven't got a chance to watch that video that I posted about the uh, full moon, lunar eclipse, and Gemini, uh, just make sure to watch that video. It had a lot of information, kind of explains um, how you might be feeling and and why. So, all right, Aries. So. Energy of the week, you got the sun. Challenge or obstacle that you might face, you got the five of pentacles. A lesson that you've already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle, you got the tower. And the outcome of the week, you got the magician. And I am going to add the Moonology Oracle messages um, as a permanent part of the weekly guidance. I feel like it really gives us some good um, worded messages. The tarot, we kind of have to see how it fits into our life, into our situation. And as the oracles are just clear um, to the point messages. And I'll turn this one over last. Alright Aries, let's get started. So energy of the week, you got the sun. And the sun is all about bright hope. Um, so we did just get done experiencing all that purging of old past hurts. Um, with that full moon, lunar eclipse in Gemini. Um, so it is pretty normal for all of us to kind of have this new... Uh, bright hope for our future. Um, so the sun also is about material happiness. Um, it could be about a joyous outcome or feeling successful. Um, so I do feel like Aries, as you're moving into uh, this week, it is possible with all that purging um, that you do feel like you're on a more uh, su successful route um, and you could be feeling pretty joyous. Um, but with this Five of Pentacles being here as your challenge or obstacle, I do feel like it has something to do with material happiness. So Aries, there might be something um, that you're feeling, you're either going to feel abundant in or you're going to feel a lack in. Um, with the rest of the cards, I'm thinking that you're feeling a lack um, in the material um, wealth, material abundance. And then your challenge or obstacle, like I said, is the uh, Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is all about feeling like you're left out in the cold. Um, this could feel like if this is like, for example, if this is like a relationship issue, um, you know, you could feel like someone didn't meet your expectations. Um, someone um, abandon you it's about abandonment um, that kind of thing five is also change so it could be that there's some sort of change um, pinnacles are your worth your things your material things so again you got material um, two cards here about material possession so I feel like there's some sort of issue um, with your things this week Aries and then a lesson that you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle you got the tower so the tower is all about like um, shocking things that kind of shake your foundation, right? Like you don't see them coming. You didn't expect it. Um, it could be too 
Um, the tower could be about like um, having like um, 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 it could be like an unwanted change. Something's happened that you didn't plan on happening, and you might could be feeling like, "Wow, how am I supposed to do this? I didn't see this coming." Um, I just want to say, Aries, that's happening to everybody right now, right? So we all kind of had this plan where we thought the world was going to go a certain way. And as we can see, 2020 has changed that for everybody, right? So uh, worldwide. So we're all experience, we've all experienced this tower moment. Um, and I think that's what it's saying is that you um, have already experienced this because it's already in your lessons already learned. Um, so it could be saying, too, that... Um, if you remember or go back to times where you had tower moments, how they ended up working out for the greater good, right? Like they, the things that happened that maybe shook your foundation or your belief system um, ended up turning out to be something that needed to be done that maybe you wouldn't have done or thought of like on your own. And then your outcome for the week, you got the magician. So the magician is all about like being focused, um, being creative. Um, it's turning your visions into a reality. Um, it's an inspired action. Um, so I feel like it's possible um, that you're coming to the end of this week knowing that there's something you need to manifest um, to help you with whatever, if this is pinnacles, like if this is material things, um, you're trying to come up with an idea. Um, if this is about a job, like you're trying to come up with a better job idea, um, something like that but you're trying to manifest it. And the magician is very much as above, so below, right? So what he thinks in here, what he creates up here is what happens out here. So I feel like it's very much telling you to stay positive this week, Aries, and try to uh, manifest, create, um, come up with the idea, think it through, strategize, plan uh, with the idea. Um, and then your bottom of the deck energy, you got the king of fire. So bottom of the deck I've been doing because it really helps give us the energy of the entire deck. And then it explains to you what you need to do with your guidance card. So I just want to read um, king of fire, some keywords real quick, are proactive, inspirational, powerful passionate involved it says ground and focus your passion be more than an ideas person remain involved from start to finish the king of fire is a charismatic leader he is passionate and his passion is something others find inspiring because it is focused grounded and creative so you're needing to take leadership and some sort of guidance here and the guidance was the eight of fire so we'll go to the eight of fire and some keywords for eight of fire are action change transformation rebirth it's very much the phoenix rising so i feel like it's saying that if you're um experiencing areas if you're going through your spiritual awakening right now um it, i feel like it's very much saying that you have control um, and you need to take control instead of just kind of letting things fall. Um, things might be taking longer um, because you're kind of feeling like, oh, well, it'll just happen if it's meant to be. And we need to manifest. We need to create our future. Right, Aries? So I feel like that is what your guidance is telling you this week. And then your Moonology Oracle. You got New Moon and Capricorn. And it says... Your hard work is paying off. Alright, Aries. I feel like that is your guidance for the week. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if this feels like your tribe, please subscribe.